Hello, welcome to the second episode of Q&A with Hannah K. In this episode, we will get to know some natural ingredients that can help remove some hardier pathogens. Some of the pathogens that are harder to remove are fleas, lice, and worms. These are called parasites. Let's address some questions first. First question, what is a parasite? The answer, a parasite is a pathogen that lives on a human or an animal and gets its nutrition from the human or animal host. It lives and feeds on the human or animal body, taking the nutrition away from the body. Question number two. Why are parasites dangerous to the human body? The answer. Apart from taking away nutrition from the human body, parasites also excrete germs such as viruses or microbacteria that are harmful to the body. Question number three. How do we tell the presence of parasites on a human body? The answer is, we can detect the presence of parasites by the quality of the skin, hair, appetite, and general well-being. Skin may become dry, scaly, and itchy, while hair too may appear dry, frizzy, and loss of body. A prolonged loss of appetite may indicate worm infestation in the stomach. The feeling of lethargy, tiredness for no apparent reason, may also be an indication of parasites taking away nutrition from the body. Question number four. What are the steps to take to keep safe from parasites? The answer. There are a few steps we can take to keep ourselves safe from parasites. One, consult MD or a trusted healer. Two, use natural insect repelling oils or sprays to keep parasites away. Three, use edible quality body oils with natural substance that contains anthelmintic property such as papaya or pumpkin, etc. that can help dispel or kill off the parasites two times weekly. Four, eat foods that help kill the parasites two times weekly and foods that help replace the lost nutrition daily, drinks too. Here are some of the natural ingredients that are anti-parasites. They can help to kill off and remove parasites and worms from the body. Number one on the list is papaya. Papaya is a tropical fruit that is yellow orangish in color with sweet, soft and juicy flesh when ripe. Papaya can be eaten on its own as a fruit, mixed into salads, or blended into juice. The seeds of a papaya are edible as well, but more as a natural medicine that combats some kinds of intestinal worms. Ingesting 7 to 12 seeds each time can help keep stomach clean from intestinal worms and parasites. The peels of the papaya can be used together with edible oil to make parasite repelling or expelling oil to use on the skin or in pre-marinates of meats. More of other fruits and vegetables that contain anthelmintic properties are pumpkin, tromboncino, and squashes such as butternut and spaghetti squash. For parasite expelling purpose, it is best to use these fruits and vegetables with seed oils such as sunflower seed oil. Foods and preparations that have anthelmintic property are best to ingest or use two times weekly only. Number two herb is an anti-lice herb, rosemary. Rosemary helps to remove lice such as head and body lice. Lice are also a kind of parasite that can lay eggs every three days. It is best to use herbs that help to remove lice every two days. Rosemary can be made into tea to drink or to use in a bath or as water spray for cleaning cupboards, clothes, beds, 
and rooms. A pinch in a tea or a sprig in the bath or water spray is sufficient. Prepare the herb by steeping it in fresh boiled water first before drinking it as tea or using it in the bath or as water spray. We are now coming to the end of episode 2. But let's hear today's random health tip cue of the day before that. Hi there. Hello. This is Nathan. Hi, Nathan. I do have a question. Go ahead. What are some ways to reduce uric acid in the body? Fabulous. Thanks for asking, Nathan. Uric acid is caused by excess substance called purine that cannot be broken down by the kidneys. Some of the ways that can help reduce uric acid are Number 1. Avoid foods that contain high purine content such as oily fish like salmon, tuna, etc. Also, avoid eating products such as dried legumes and fatty or oily foods. Number 2. Following a detox program can benefit in reducing uric acid as well as cleansing, rebalancing, and strengthening the kidneys. Here is a simple detox method that can be practiced at home. Drink half-fat milk mixed with half teaspoon of turmeric, a pinch of cinnamon, and a pinch of clove for three to four nights in a week. Follow up with one mug of tea mixed with one teaspoon of cumin or fennel seeds once a week. This will help in cleaning the body, including the kidneys, of excess toxins. Number 3. Eating the right foods such as low-fat yogurt and milk, tofu, lean meats, and lean fish such as grouper or bass is helpful to bring the balance back into the kidney's functionability. Number 4. To help strengthen the kidneys, drink a cup or a mug of tea daily. Also, add corns and corn products into the diet, such as eating sweet corns, adding corn flour into soups or breads, for that strengthening effect. Okay, that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next show. In episode 3, we will have a peek into ingredients that can help to remove and repair damages caused by various pathogens. See you soon!